You see this? This is called an Arduino. And this is one of the things that can help you stay sharp as an engineer. Roll it! Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. It's your boy, we sat back with another engineering video. And this one, I wanted to talk about how you can stay sharp as an engineer. Now I get this question a lot from people who are either out of work or they're in school is, what can I do in my free time to sharpen my skills, to make myself look presentable, look good on a resume? Uh, how can I build my skills, basically, if I'm not working? One thing I hear a lot from people is, you know, we Sam, I've really been brushing up on my theory, on my uh, thermodynamics, you know, whatever subject it is, right? And they say, is, you know, is should I keep doing this? Like, is this the right thing to do? And my answer is usually, it, that, that doesn't really matter. Like, improving your theory like if you've already graduated and your concern is well i'm not going to remember all these subjects that that, that i that i've taken don't worry about that okay your employer doesn't really care i asked this question to my to my senior engineer i said like what do you look for in interviews what do you look for in people and he basically said do they do they like being engineers like are they curious? Do they like to build things? You know, like wh where's their kind of like, what, what do they like to do in their free time? So don't worry about not having the intelligence or the competence to understand like the material of a certain job. Now, what, what employers, that what they want to see is tangible skills. Okay. I'll give you guys examples. Coding, uh, 3D modeling, Arduino. Okay. Which is, you know, a product of, of learning code. These are tangible skills because every job requires coding. Every job is going to require some form of numerical modeling. You can't design a product specifically based off of formulas. At some point, you have to introduce numerical modeling, flow around an airplane, right? Stresses on the wings, that kind of stuff. You can't solve this analytically. You have to basically use a computer. So yeah, that's going to require a lot of uh, coding, a lot of controls, stuff like that. That is, that's an example of a tangible skill, right? So things like Arduinos, and I'll get into a little uh, experiment here in a second, but these little tools, we actually use them at work. They will like, we use them for, to, 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 uh, to measure pressure, right? When we, we plug in our pressure sensors in here and we measure the pressure in let's say a duct. And we literally just, just use Arduino. You can literally buy, the, buy one of these and work on them at home. But think anything that you can kind of hold in your hand, any, any sort of software that you can get good at, that is an example of a tangible skill. Let's go, let's, let's dive a little bit into what this Arduino can do. All right, so this is our little setup here. So we've got our Arduino, which is like an electric circuit board. And we've got our breadboard here. This is what allows us to test out our electronics. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to measure the temperature in the room using a thermistor. Now this guy, this little orange piece here is our thermistor. And the way that this measures temperature is you run a voltage across it and it's going to create a resistance in this element and the Arduino is going to measure that resistance and it's going to output a temperature because there's a relationship between resistance and temperature that's specific to each, uh, each type of thermistor. So the voltage is c coming from the Arduino and it's running across here and it's getting measured. And then this guy is a resistor. This is just part of the circuit. It's a necessary part. For this to work these are called jumper wires they connect the breadboard to the arduino the arduino is then connected to the my, my laptop there's a there's the arduino software on there which basically and i'll show you guys the coding here but it communicates with the arduino and it tells it tells it basically what to do so let's show that code here so this is a script that I didn't write myself. I picked up from somewhere. I'll leave all that in the description. What we're gonna do, we're going to click upload. Okay, done. And we're gonna click it. There you go. So this is, these are live readings of the ambient temperature that's coming from here. And you can, to show that it's working, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch it. And you see how the temperature changes? because I'm adding resistance to it. And the temperature is going up, and if I rub it more, it goes up. And I'll take off my hand, it goes back down. Again, I'm pretty new to all this. I, I'll, I'll leave all this in the, in the description uh, where I got I'll did this tutorial from. There are a lot of things that you can do with Arduino. You can run motors on them, you can turn lights, you can, you can uh, power speakers with them. A lot of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, pick one of these guys up and start playing around with it. 
Okay, let's get into some coding here. You guys probably know how much I love coding. I don't know anything about coding. I'm very good at it. <laughs> I hate coding. So this is a, I, if you go to codeblocks.com and you download this software, it's free. This is in the language of C++. Basically in, in coding, there's a bunch of different languages, right? There's Python, there's C, C++. We use a couple different ones at our work. I would just pick one and I would kind of try and learn it. I didn't write this code. I've been doing some tutorials because uh, I want to do this along with you guys. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, deficient in my, uh, some of my abilities in this kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and run this program. Okay, so, well, okay, maybe briefly I'll try and explain these. So you have a string. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to explain these. I'm not qualified to do it. Let's just run this. <laughs> okay. So this is a little cool little thing that uh, we've kind of built. So enter a color. Let's pick a color. Uh, brown. Enter a noun. Uh, finger. Enter a celebrity. Oh, this is pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and there you go look see it just kind of it spits out a little uh poem there or whatever whatever you call that thing uh, <laughs> anyways that's an example like it's kind of cool right uh coding is actually kind of cool I, I used i used to like hate it but now I've, I've kind of been working on it for like uh, a little while. It's actually kind of fun. Other uh, skills that you guys can do are 3D modeling. Every every job is going to require some sort of 3D modeling. It's a good skill to have. Uh, this this software I'm using is called FreeCAD. You, it's 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 okay. Like it's not like SolidWorks or Fusion, but um, those are like ridiculously expensive. Don't bother. Just just download this free one and start playing around with it. Okay, and let's say boom. Let's make it like. A yeah just start messing around you can, you can obviously do a lot more uh, complex designs than this i've just been fooling around with this today but yeah mess around with that every job is going to require some 3d modeling every job is going to require you to do drawings so that's a really good skill to have other things you can do build stuff you know buy some like tools buy a, a, a set of wrenches buy some socket wrenches uh, buy some, you know, nuts, bolts, screws, drills, pieces of wood, like whatever. Start building things because you're, you're going to have to, you're going to have to use your hands in every job, right? So that's the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't get too disheartened if you're, uh, if you're out of work. I know there's a lot of people, uh, get messages from like, you know, tough time, COVID, not, not much work. I get it. It sucks. But a lot of people are in the same boat. These are some things that you guys can work on in your free time. It'll really really help you it'll really impress your employer that you've been putting these last you know few months or, or years or whatever to good use it'll help you out so keep at it keep grinding uh that's all i want to say like and subscribe hit that bell as well and uh we're gone i think we're done see you guys next time people in the house put your hands in the air because if you don't care then we don't care